So now that we have our matches, um, what are we going to do with them? Well, what I want to do is put them all into a list box. So go back to your visual um, designer form and double click list box, wherever it is. Yeah, there we go. And what I want to do is take every item that is on that page and put it into a list box in text format. So, what we're going to do is create a for loop. And one thing that I was criticized on in one of my early tutorials is that I didn't really explain what the for loop can be used for. Um, so, here, right here, we can use it. It's an example. You can use it, use it to like loop through um, items in a group. And right here, we're going to loop through the matches in this match collection. So um yeah, right. So got it's going to create a simple for loop. So we'll do for each, we'll call it item code as match in matches, and that's saying okay for each. Well, it's like creating a new variable item code as a match in matches, which is our group or our match collection of matches right here. We're going to do something with it. Now what we're going to do is. We could just add the match to the list box, but that would just add the whole HTML source code. Now, in an early, earlier tutorial, we went over a, something called split splitting strings or split, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to use that here to split this HTML source code that we get, to strip it down just to the item name. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to say list box one oops one dot items dot add and then in brackets we're going to say item no no we're going to say yes yeah, item code dot value dot split and then in brackets we're going to say what we want to split it by and what we're going to do is split it by double quotation which is one quotation as we explained up there and the reason that is is because there's a single quotation like there's one here and there's one there there's one there, there's one there, and what we can do is when we have when we split it by this quotation, and um, we'll have an array of different um, parts of the text here. So what we need to do is look look through it. So if we split it by the quotation, we have first this, which is the zero, so the array zero. Then we go here, which is one. Then here, which is two. Then here, which is three. Whoops, sorry about that. Then here, which is four. And then right inside here will be the fifth part of the array. So now that we know what what um, place that the actual item name is in in this array, then we can just do dot get value and then in brackets five. And that's going to get the fifth part of this string that has been split, and then add it to the list box one. So that might be a bit confusing for you so far, guys. But you know, um, this is like a, something that. It's really hard to grasp. It's like if you either, you either understand it or you don't. So just try and go back over it and just see if you, you can, um, you know, try and figure out what you did wrong if you don't understand it. But let's just debug this anyway to test it out. And you'll see here it has a list of all the items on the home page. And like if we go back to the thing here, um, where is it? Ah, uh, there it is, and these are all the items that we picked up in the list box right here. So I hope that um, gave you guys a better idea of what regex is or regular expressions. And you're gonna come across things like, like what if you have a full stop in your HTML code and you need that, but then um, your application thinks okay to full stop, so um, that means so like this be a wild card here and then like it won't pick it up so what you need to do is you need to look at this right here which is um the syntax reference table here it tells you all about stuff like what about if you have a new line you can use for um sorry backslash n for new line and where's the one about i think you just have to put like a forward slash and then a dot like if you just have a dot oh no here it is um, it suppresses the special meaning. So, like, um, dot there. If that's in your code, then you just put a backslash and then put the dot, and then that'll just act as the dot. So, um, yeah, guys, that was just a tutorial on regex. Um, I just I pretty rushed it a little bit, but you know, it's it's simple, really. As when when you understand it, you'll think, 
well there's not really much to it it's, it's simple to understand but it's just about getting it in the first place and I hope you guys understood the tutorial and um, and I pretty much just talked the whole way through it which probably get like you guys probably got a bit bored but yeah this is just it's really useful regex it's really fun to play around with and you can you know go on to do other stuff with it create something to take emails from web pages and stuff and yeah you should look up other stuff on it I'll leave some links like um to this in the description and um any questions about regex just PM me and I'll I'll answer so yeah thanks for watching guys and Please leave a comment on the video, rate the video, subscribe and check out the website for more information.